hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i will discuss how to assign the section properties of all the members b main column with the help of statpro software here is the floor plan of a g plus pro building where all the dimension are in millimeter before going to assign the section property we have to finish the modeling part of this building so now i am going to create a new file or new project to start the modeling part and you can also import this building with the help of AutoCAD line diagram which I have already discussed in my previous video sessions. Here I am using the coordinate method to create the building layout. Starting from this lower left corner, the first point will be 000, 000 and the next point will be along x axis it will be 4.495 and the next point will be along z axis the x and y value will be 0 and the z value will be 4.089 the next point there will be the both value of x and z it will be 4.4950 and 4.089 So now we can easily copy these nodes as per the value of length and width of each part of the layout. Copy these two nodes and paste along the x axis and the value of x will be 4.038. And again copy this node number 6 and paste along the z axis. And the value of Z will be 2.336. You can check the dimension from here. And next we can copy this node number 7 and paste along the Z axis. And the value of Z will be 3.073. Click on OK. And again copy this node number 8 and paste along the negative x axis and the value of x will be minus 3.251. Then again copy the node number 9 and paste along the x axis and the value of x will be minus 2.251. 946 and similarly copy the node number 10 and paste along the negative x axis and the value of x will be 2.565 After that, copy these nodes and paste along Z axis and the value of Z will be minus 3.073. Then copy the node number 13 and paste along the x axis and the value of x will be minus 2.565 this way you can insert all the nodes to join these nodes select all the nodes with the help of node cursor and go to geometry click on connect beam along x axis and connect beam along z axis To connect this member at first we have to stretch this member and we have to stretch this member along negative x axis through a distance say the distance is minus 0.5 click on apply here we get node number 15 and then Thank you. 
click on geometry add beam add beam by perpendicular intersection click node number 14 and then click here then it will be connected to check the dimension click on tools then dimension beams click on display here is the dimension of the all beam and columns and to remove this dimension again go to tools then click on dimension beams then click on remove after that the dimension will be removed so select all the members with the help of beam cursor then go to geometry translational repeat select the global direction y then the default step spacing will be 3 meter and the number of steps will be 6 and the bottom spacing will be 1.5 click on ok and delete this portion here is the modeling part of the g plus 4 building we have to delete this column select this column from the top view then click on delete from your keyboard the modeling part is done now we have to assign the property or section property select property then click on define click on rectangular then specify the material as the concrete material then specify yd and zd here the yd is the depth and zd is the width of the column section say the yd or the depth value is 0.25 and the width is 0.45 click on add this way you have to define all the section properties or input all the values of yd and zd and add one by one now to assign the property select the column from the top view or plus y view then click on assign to selected beam and assign then select the next section property select the corner columns with the help of beam cursor from the top view then assign to selected beam and assign Then again click on the next section. Select all the inner beams from the top view. Then assign to selected beam and assign. Then click on the next section. And click on outer beam you can check all the selected beams from the default view or from the isometric view then assign to selected beam and assign To check the missing attributes or missing section properties click on select by missing attributes then missing property here is the missing property at first we have to select the section property then go to select and missing property then assign to selected beam and click on assign ok 
Here is the 3D view of this building. And click on section outline apply ok from view. If you want to rotate this column along xy axis or yz axis then you have to specify the beta angle or you have to add the beta angle the beta angle will be always 90 degree then click on beta 90 select the column and assign to selected beam ok then the column will be rotated Here I have add the beta angle in this column. So the 3D view will be like this. Here you can see this column. This column is along the xy axis. The depth value will be rotated. The value of yd and zd will be interchanged in case of assigning the beta angle. If we assign the beta angle as 45 degree, then the column will be like this. So, so always the beta angle will be 90 degree. Select the wireframe view. Here is the wireframe view of the structure. So this way you can assign the property or assign the section property and also assign the beta angle for any type of building. If you like this video then subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video.